Tile maps are awesome. They are the most performant and easy to use tool in GDevelop for building levels for your game. Let's jump right in. Right now I have just this one character using the platformer behavior and I'm going to build out a level that they can run around in. So to begin with I add a new object and select tile map. This opens the new object type for tile map which I can name and select the tile size for but first I'm going to add an atlas image which is just a PNG of the terrain that I want to use. This tile map works with a 16 by 16 grid. So I'll change it to 16 and you'll see the selector tool change to 16 by 16. Now inside the object is where I select the collision masks for the object. So I can click individually to highlight a single area or click and drag, which will actually invert any that are already selected. So I've set up this dirt section as all having a collision mask so when collision checks are done, it will only check these tiles. Now I'll drag the tile map into the scene and then open the properties panel and select the tile map. Now down here in the properties panel, you'll see the atlas image that you selected. And I can select any tile here and paint it anywhere in the scene that I want to. And the object will move and adjust to that size. To no longer paint with the object, I can press escape to deselect the tool or click on the tile that I already had selected. Aside from just painting, you can horizontally flip the image that you're painting, or vertically flip it. And then of course finally you're able to erase things when you're done. Now because this is an object, you can place it on different layers of your game to use the tile map object to create foreground and background elements for your game. But also because it's an object, you have access to behaviors, variables, and effects. And in behaviors we can add the platform behavior. Because the character has the platformer behavior and now the tile map has the platform behavior, they can interact with each other. And these collisions will work regardless of the shape of your object. As long as you've determined what portion of your tile map has a collision mask. The tile map will work with most kinds of collisions, including points and ray casting, but it doesn't currently work with the physics engine. That's the basic way to use a tile map but you can also interact with the tile map using events. So in the event sheet, if I add a new event, if I select this tile map object, I'll see the conditions for tile on grid and tile at position. So you can use the grid coordinates on the tile map or its position in game to select individual parts of a tile map. And this is looking for a specific tile ID, which you can get by opening your object and hovering over the tile. So this is tile 29, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. But then there's also actions, like changing the ID of a tile, or removing a tile at a position. And if I use the cursor X and cursor Y position, and preview the game, I can use my cursor to erase the level. This object is relatively new in GDevelop and it currently just has those features. But since GDevelop is open source, and this object is one of the core objects in GDevelop, there are likely going to be a lot of contributions and improvements in the near future. If you'd rather use one of the third party tools, like Tiled or LDTK, at the bottom of the object list, the objects for using those file types are there. Tile maps definitely are awesome, but so is this next video.